Hello everyone, today I'm going to present our work entitled Shear Sonic Log Prediction with Deep Neural Networks, an example from Gulf of Mexico. I'm Philip Mello and I did this work with my colleagues Veronica Perez and Chung Shang Li. We are from Jill Software. The aim of this work is to predict the Shear Sonic Log with a deep neural network. The dataset. The study area is the Mississippi Canyon Block 109 in Gulf of Mexico. The dataset is composed by seven wells with nine well logs in each well. Figure 1a shows a map view with the wells, the field location and block coordinates. Figure 1b shows a, se a seismic section crossing all the wells. The zone of interest is the green horizon. The test data for this work is well 5, highlighted in black in figure 1. The selected well logs for this work are density, gamma ray, compression of sonic, porosity neutron, porosity effective, resistivity measured, water saturation, volume of clay, and shear sonic log, which is this one in purple. These are the well logs, the well tops from well 1, a typical well from this field. The method. The training dataset has about 44,000 samples per feature, and the test data has about 6,000 samples per feature. For data analysis, we checked the quality of the data and searched for outliers. In addition, we searched for linearities. Figure 3 shows the Pearson correlation plot with the values of the linear correlation for each pair of logs. High correlation is observed between four pairs of logs. After data analysis, the training data was divided into 70% of samples as training data and 30% of samples as validation data. There are nine features, which are the well logs, including the measured depth log. Therefore, to avoid overfitting, we performed data augmentation. We generate polynomial combinations of the features with degree equal to two and add non-linearities to the data. Thus, the number of features has increased from 9 to 54 features. The features are scaled to lie between a given minimum and maximum value before training. The deep neural network architecture consists of two hidden layers with 32 and 16 nodes each. The loss function to be minimized during the training is the mean squared error. The optimizer is added and we use the mean absolute error as metrics. The model was trained in fifth epochs, and the results of the training and validation loss are shown in figure 4a, while metrics are shown in figure, 4, in figure 4b. Now let's check the results. Figure 5 shows scatter plots of the true and predicted as sonic log values for the train, validation, and test data. The red line is the identity line, and the scatter plot shows some samples out of range. The coefficient of determination are true and shown in the upper left part of each plot. The results on test data, the predicted as sonic log, show good fit with a high score. Figure 6 shows the log plot of the true as sonic log. The target is in gray and the predicted sonic log is in orange. The, the prediction is good as both logs matter. There are some misfits at the shallowest part of the logs, but a good fit in the zone of interest, uh, which is below the green top. Finally, the conclusions. We predicted shear sonic log with a deep neural network model at an area with only a few available wells. Data augmentation on the architecture of the network had a positive impact in the results. The prediction results qualitatively show good fit at the interval of interest and misfit for some samples at shallow depth. Quantitatively, the high score shows the overall success of the model and predicted the, the shear sonic log. So we wish to act to thank Telos Energy for permission to show this data, Geosoftware, and the developers of JSON support. Thank you.